Hey everyone, Rob Clues, z -Track Distribution. It is mid-April 2023, and I want to talk to you today. We're going to do some test running with uh, AZL's brand new 53-foot spine car set. So we released these a couple weeks ago. First road name was Roadway. And um, after I released a little video, just introducing you to the cars, after I did that, well, some people said, hey, Rob, you didn't do a test running video. So, so I said, okay, here we go. Let's do this. So what we're going to see, I'm going to get this train start getting moving here, is we are going to do a little test run, three engines up front. Today, the train is all AZL. And the reason why we're doing that is I really want to see how all these articulated cars play together. And we're looking at about just shy of maybe 20 cars that we're running today, uh, mostly sets, a couple singles. So what you're looking at as the train goes across is a bunch of these uh, spine car sets, followed by a Maxi 4 set, and then another spine car set. So I've got three engines up front. Let's talk about that first. These cars are heavy. All the bodies are metal. Okay, let's start with that, except for the very good last car. Um, all the bodies are metal. There's a lot of weight to this train. So I'm using, you know, three engines up front to pull it. The first car to uh, trans uh, constant is a 53-foot well car thrall that AZL released years ago. I just kind of like that car. So that's the first one. The second set is our very first release of the five-car set of spine cars for Roadway with the Roadway trailers. The second one is the just released a couple days ago, actually, the JP Hunt trailers on a five car set. And then what I kind of did is having some fun. I like the JP Hunt theme here. So I used a Maxi 4 set, which are three cars articulated. Uh, those are loaded with six of the JP Hunt um, corrugated containers, shipping containers. Followed by that is a set we actually haven't released yet, so pretend you don't see anything. Um, it is a three car spine car set that has never actually been shown before. So again, ignore about what you're about to see coming across your screen. And then we just have a, a, a um, high cube box car in the end, just for a little bit of extra on it. So trains run really well. Um, the only thing I had to do like, is, is tack down those trailers. We had talked about this in the earlier video that the trailers really need to be secured down. So I'm gonna show you what I'm using. I'm using a product called Zots, the small dots here. They're double-sided self-adhesive. I just put a little tiny dot of those onto the rear wheels of the trailer, just one set of wheels, just one side. You don't need to do both. And I found that is all that is needed to keep those trailers in place. And it's nice, you can peel back off. So it's really sticky, it's a little rubbery, but if you had to take the trailer off, you could do that and it does peel back off. Um, one thing I want to talk about too, these are all articulated cars. So again, we're, we're, we're not seeing, a, you know, any, any, you know, we're just seeing a lot of cars with pins and, and, and grooves holding this together. So let's talk a little bit about the train. So what you're seeing and running on is this train is on Rokohan track. It's on my test modules. These are T-Track Z modules. A lot of the track is not secured. Okay. Cause this is just a test bed for us. We do a lot of product shots on this, we test run AZL locomotives on this. It's not a big layout. Actually, what you're seeing here is our T-Track Z mill module. It's a triple module. It's the most straight track I got in this whole layout. So as the train comes into the screen here, it's gonna be heading off to the right. It's gonna go through a turnout and it's gonna go ahead a 245 millimeter curve from Rokohan. As it comes back around, it's gonna go into another turnout and hit 270 millimeters. The reason why I bring this up is this train has a lot of drag. It's all, at least some of the cars are always in a curve or into a turnout situation. Because again, long train, small layout. Where I'm going with this is if I could open this up some longer straightaways, you know, really open this up, I think I'm going to see, you know, more cars being added to this train without having all that, that drag on this. But the one thing I did find is track work being secured is key. You know, I've talked about this in other videos, how important it is to have your track work secure. So where I did see some uncoupling on the spine car sets is really where I had track that wasn't secured and had a little bit of a deviation vertically. So let's, let's talk about that for a second. So a traditional Z-scale car has a coupler. It's pretty thick vertically. You got, you got a lot of plastic there. Well, that plastic allows any deviations in track vertically for the cars to slide up and down against each other and they stay coupled. 
When we look at the pins on these spine cars, that pin's about half of the vertical height of a Z-scale coupler. That means it really has reduced the amount of space vertically you have to keep cars connected. So what I was seeing one spot in particular, where I had a little cable running underneath a piece of track that wasn't secure, I was getting some uncoupling there. The, the spine cars would just pop off each other and one would kind of swing out. Once I was able to just adjust that track, and once I was able to you know, take care of that little bit of vertical, I didn't have any more problems with uncoupling. So if you do see that on your own layout, you see these cars maybe uncoupling spots, carefully check that spot. You may have an opportunity there just to do a little tweak to the track work there to get it running. Um, but that's so far the only thing I've seen. Uh, you know, I think <laughs> I'm actually just really enjoying watching these trains run. I, <clears throat> I love how they look on the rail. I love the openness. I haven't had to do anything to get them running except secure the trailers. Of course, you have to glue the part on the, the trailer hitch. We talked about that in the other video. I think it's really cool when you see all these trailers lined up. The next thing you know, you got a maxi set with all these containers loaded. Um, I'm really excited about this. Now, we didn't test any microtrains today with this, but I don't see any problems using mixing some of your microtrains cars, maybe some of you know, former releases that we did as uh, Z Track exclusive items back in the years ago. But yeah, there you go. That's it. So Rob Clue's Z-Track distribution, test running AZL's 53-foot spine cars, took a look at the roadway, which we had, the JB Hunt that just came out, another set that we won't talk about because it hasn't been released yet, look at our Maxis, which have been out, and yeah, they're just running great. So look, you got any questions, drop us a line at sales at ztrack.com. Happy to answer them for you. I would contact your authorized dealer to get more information about these cars and their pricing, or you can go to azldirect.com. We have them available directly through us as well. And look for a lot more releases coming up in the months ahead. So, hey, everyone, Rob Clues, Z-Track Distribution. Talk to you all later. And, uh, yeah, go run some trains. Bye.